Recent flooding has rendered these roads near impassable. Taxi operators and residents are now taking matters into their own hands, fixing the roads themselves. Though scholar transport has been approved, it still cannot access this area. This scholar transport is for men. We have scholar transport, but they can't access our village. We have to cough up more money to ferry our children to another village to be able to access the scholar transport. This is very painful. A hearse has rolled over a year ago transporting people to our village. During the rainy season, the roads are even worse and many learners and teachers cannot get to school. It has also prevented access to a clinic. We try to repair this road on Wednesday. Those who have to go to clinic or work suffer because we decide not to go to town on Wednesdays and fix this road. We have given up on the municipality. We've been asking them to fix this road for years. I no longer go to the clinic. Someone has to fetch my medicine. On Monday, I have to go for a checkup, but I'm scared. It is frightening to travel on that mountain. The Mflonlo local municipality says it has a backlog of bad road infrastructure. It says repairs should get underway in the next financial year. Almost all our roads have been damaged by the floods. The Department of Infrastructure has already gone to that area to do an assessment so that we can allocate a budget. And we have registered that road to MIG so that construction can start. These are some of the issues Eastern Cape residents hope will receive attention in the upcoming State of the Nation address. Rwandi Lembulali, SAPC News, Kumbu in the Eastern Cape.